Ventilation settings during ECMO extracorporeal membrane oxygenation are crucial for supporting patients with severe respiratory or cardiac failure. The specific ventilation settings can vary based on the patient's condition, the reason for ECMO support, and the healthcare team's assessment. Lung protective ventilation strategies are often employed to minimize ventilator-induced lung injury, while the ECMO circuit assists with gas exchange. Ventilator settings for the native lungs, or also known as VV ECMO, respiratory rate, or also known as RR. The respiratory rate may be adjusted to allow the native lungs some degree of rest. The ECMO circuit assists with oxygenation and carbon dioxide removal, so that the respiratory rate may be set at a lower than typical ventilator settings. Tidal volume or also known as VT. The tidal volume on the ventilator may be adjusted based on the patient's lung condition, but it is often set to lower levels than conventional ventilation. Positive end expiratory pressure, or also known as PEEP. PEEP levels may be adjusted to maintain lung recruitment and prevent atelectasis. The ECMO circuit helps support oxygenation, allowing for potentially lower PEEP levels. Ventilator settings for the native lungs and heart VA ECMO. In cases where ECMO supports both the lungs and the heart, the ventilator settings will be adjusted to support respiratory and cardiac function. The settings will depend on the patient's specific needs, and adjustments may be made to optimize oxygen delivery and carbon dioxide removal. It's important to note that continuous monitoring of a patient's arterial blood gases is essential to assess their oxygenation and ventilation status. Please refer to your clinical instructor for discussion.